hemp and, and flax materials, for example, uh, have been used for, for centuries in textiles, roping material. Actually, prior, prior to about World War II, uh, hemp was the predominant material for roping in the world. Uh, once synthetic materials came on board that were ultimately cheaper to produce and uh, more consistent, I guess, that's why it replaced hemp materials. Now, what we're trying to do is bring back these materials into these structures, but, but with a twist in that we're trying to re-engineer them. We're trying to understand what we can exploit in terms of the benefits of their lightweight, uh, their structural capabilities, and their environmental benefit in, in one complete package here. Um, so as I said, it's one thing to be green, but it's another thing to be green and economic at the same time. Uh, and you're going to get a lot more uptake. And really our goal is just to create a greener world here, to use products that are uh, sustainable and uh, environmentally friendly. The work we're doing in terms of developing products and applications for uh, biomaterials, as an example of that, is industrial hemp. Um, Industrial hemp is a very good uh, biomaterial in the sense that it produces very high strength, high tenacity fibers. We have two, two classes of materials that we work with on the plastic side. One is the thermoplastics. So these are the meltable plastics. Uh, we take uh, conventional uh, polyethylene, polypropylene, polyvinyl chloride, polymers that are currently used in a variety of products, and we reinforce them with uh, biofiber to enhance their capabilities. It's a plastic reinforced hemp panel. Very rigid, very strong. Uh, we can increase its functionality and light weight by doing uh, what we call sandwich structures. So this is a manuf manufactured sandwich structure which basically incorporates the skin materials made of the hemp reinforced plastic with a core of foam or some other honeycomb structure.